Acura 2021 LIX. I think that's what model is. I don't know what it is. Uh, I was just playing around here with the micron gauges and using the micron gauge. Here's a couple. Here's one right here I have attached. I seen if I, I was having problems with one hooking up. Uh, as you see, this is the second unit I got because the first one had a bunch of defects. And so the second one, I've been treating it like it was made out of potato chips or eggshells. Like it's not worthy to take out in the real field and work with us in HVAC. Like it's going to break, like it's tissue paper. But you know what? Even with treating it really good, what do you see right there? Let's see if I could zero in on it. Check out the screen. Remember I took a video about my other one breaking and cracking in multiple places? Check this out. Right. Where is it? Oh, you can't see it with the camera. Oh, here it goes. Right there. Check what developed out. Right there. Two little cracks. Little fractures right there. This has not been hit. Uh, as I've been taking these videos, I've been putting it right back into the case every time. Treating it like a little prima donna snowflake sissy and still they have this material that they're using in their screen just shatters or fractures to get these micro cracks in them that was not there when i posted my first youtube video on that showing how this thing had like little mini mini fractures you can barely see that just kind of is opening up right there and that's treating it like like it's freaking sissy okay something's wrong with their screens because this is the second one um, another thing if you want to get these as standalone apparently I can't hook up to the software it has to go through the 557F to use one of these so they're totally they're nothing more than a brick a useless hundred dollar piece of shit if you want to use them for standalone you have to like go from the sensor through the unit to your software so you know ace that uh, I guess I'm going to have to open up the manual and dig deeper to see how I could get these to go directly to software if they're capable. If not, that's a total you shit loss, Testo, if you did that. If these cannot be used standalone, that really sucks. Um, when I turn this off, let's kill that. Power off. Power off. Please stay hooked up please tell me I don't have to be yep there it goes you don't have this this is a fucking worthless brick okay Testo go back to the drawing board I don't know who approved this shit at Testo some higher up someone in marketing say oh well we have a standalone let's not compete with our own standalone so let's make this work with this so we don't lose sales on our other unit well you know what Testo that's what I think of that and I'm sure a lot of other people think the same thing so this is where you have people who are not in the business making decisions for people who are actually in the business who actually work for a living. So as much as I used to last te love Testo and my Testo 570 was absolutely my supreme being tool. Um, Testo is really losing it. Okay guys, catch you on the next one.